Support for small and medium-sized enterprises has been a focus of this year's ITU Telecom World event in Budapest. SMEs are seen as playing a critical role in growing the global ICT industry. Organisers of the gathering, the International Telecommunications Union, is celebrating its 150th anniversary this time. Hungary is one of the founding members of ITU 150 years ago. And this year is also the first year we try to reform our ITU telecom platform to focus to support SMEs. I particularly pleased with the members' support to come together here to create such a wonderful international platform to bring SMEs everywhere together with their government, with big companies, regulators come together to talk about the future of uh, ICT development. Future use of the internet has also been stirring lots of debate at this year's event, attended by government and regulatory officials from around the world. This ITU event in Budapest is basically a gathering of professionals, but it's also good for people like me who can admire all of the technical innovations. Innovations like this safety lock from South Korea, which recognizes a human iris. Hungarian tech companies are also here, including this one, which is using 3D technology in navigation devices. It shows drivers where to go, he says, so he or she doesn't have to think. Where to turn at the third exit, for example. They don't have to listen to a voice. This is expanded reality. Another company is offering this egg-shaped safe to lock away your valuables when you're at the beach. It's opened and closed with a waterproof armband. Our idea was to create a portable safe, a beach egg which you can rent on the beach for around the same price as a beer. Here you can put all of your valuables, he explains. The beach egg is also fitted with GPS and a SIM card, raising an alarm if the egg is moved. There's also young tech talent here. This game was created by 11-year-old Mira, who's been learning programming for a year. Development time depends on how difficult the game is, she says. If you want a player to jump, you can do that in 10 minutes or less. A whole game like this takes me one or two hours, I think. Balash, who's 15, is also part of the new tech generation. He creates his own games too and says his skills will be even more crucial in the future. Different electronic devices are getting more and more important, he says. This will be the future. I think someone who does programming can progress further. And these skills can apparently be mastered by spending one and a half hours a week in a special tech school. In Hungary, there are around 20,000 vacant jobs, she says, which need this kind of knowledge. Parents know this, and if they're working in this sector or don't have a clue about it, they will send their children to learn. The message to young people is easy. Don't play on the computer. Create your own game, she says. And who knows, the young students may go on to star at a future ITU event.